the Mission Impossible has gotten to its sixth installment and is incredibly and thankfully still going strong. As an action fan, I've always been a fan of this franchise and especially the last few movies have been particularly good. I mean, really for me, I think since the third one, it really hit its stride and this one continues that, that legacy. I've recently watched Rogue Nation and Mission Impossible, the first one, and honestly, I, I kind of liked Rogue Nation a little bit better than Fallout, but that's not to say I didn't enjoy Fallout a ton. And once again, Tom Cruise's dedication to making these stunts just look as real as possible really shines through. Obviously, we, we know that Ethan Hunt is never going to die in these films, but I was still able to kind of feel for him in some of these scenes just because it looked like, man, this is really life and death here, and, and he could slip up at any moment and it would kill him. And outside of that, it just looked awesome. And so there's obviously, you know, the helicopter sequence that I'm sure you've seen, and... The, the bathroom fight sequence where, you know, we could see Henry Cavill uh, reload his arms. That whole fight sequence was, I thought, very brilliantly choreographed and shot in a way where I could really see each punch and kick just the way I wanted to. And, and then seeing people kind of decay over the course of the fight, I, I loved that scene. And really throughout the film, every action sequence had me entertained completely and even though you know in the back of my mind I know that that these characters aren't probably in, in in any real danger because we haven't we've rarely had any big character deaths in the Mission Impossible franchise outside of the first five minutes of the first film but I was still feeling the tension every second and even you know going back I, I want to go see it again at some point I probably maybe won't feel the tension of I'll just enjoy watching it because I I felt it was really just shot well so that the action's just plain fun to watch. And of course, it wouldn't be a Mission Impossible movie without a, a over-the-top plot, and that's totally there. And I was invested for the most part, although I will say, again, having recently watched Rogue Nation, I was a little bit more invested in what was going on there. Whereas here, there were some parts where they uh, took a break from the action to have some character sequences, which was fine, but those were definitely the lower parts of the film for me. And that's not to say I thought they were bad, but it's just, this is a franchise that I, I really have enjoyed. And so when comparing it to other films that I really like, I think it, it came up a little short, but, but still... Easily, easily the the best action movie I've seen this year, and I can't wait to see it again. If if you're any sort of action fan or or, or, or fan of the Mission Impossible franchise, gotta check this out. If you haven't seen it already, uh, and you're looking for some validation, I know a lot of people have loved this and have said it's their favorite in the Mission Impossible franchise. I would have to go back and watch the other ones again and, and, and watch this one again. I don't think right now I would say it's my favorite, but that's not to say that I didn't thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And Mission Impossible has never been my favorite action franchise, but it's just one of those ones where I could always go back and watch one of them and, and have a good time, even if I'm not often struck by the urge to seek them out. If, if I happen to see them, I will always watch them and have a blast. Hopefully hopefully, I can find some cheap DVD copies of them somewhere, but yeah, you just, it was a blast. I, I highly recommend it for any sort of action fans out there.